What's up, everybody? Your host, I am a 1534 here, and let's play some more Condemned Criminal Origins. And we are still in the bottom of Mr. Bartholomew's department store, where everything is fucked up. I don't remember what we were doing. I... What were we doing in here last time, actually, now that I think about it? Um... Oh, yeah, that's right, the exit. That is right. There is... But wait a minute. We were trying to find the source of the smell. Oh, it gets stronger. Okay. I feel like it's going to be really bad. There's going to be a dead body in here. Somewhere. We're not going to be able to defend ourselves when it happens. Oh, boy. Oh, no. There's going to be a dead body inside of a changing room. Where is it? I don't feel safe in here. Oh, great. Now I really don't feel safe in here. <laughs> Too many rooms to choose from. Too many chances of being dead. Ugh! Search the dressing rooms. The body is somewhere in this area. You're right, he is. Uh, which one is he in? He's gonna be in one of these. Oh, like that one. God, this place is messed up. not normal. But that doesn't mean it wasn't the same guy doing it. Ooh. Wait a minute. Does he have a finger missing? I think he has a he has a finger missing. Like that guy. Yes, yes. He's missing his right index finger, and it doesn't look like it's a recent loss either. This guy's the matchmaker. Well, he certainly didn't kill himself and set it up this way. Let's see what else you can find. Interesting. Ooh, and we have something on the neck. On the neck! <laughs> Damn, no usable DNA traces. Killer must have worn gloves, but there is something. What is it? Too early to call. Small particles that show up as a potential organophosphate pesticide. I'll work more on that and see what we get. Uh oh. Oh shit. Get your ass over here. I'm trying to kill more people. I see what it, I see how it goes. Get your yeah. Shit. He definitely has a better weapon than me. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, I see how it is. Get the fuck out of here. Wow, this guy got it pretty bad. Oh my god. He like rip his rip his dick off or what the hell happened? I don't even like fully understand what was going on there. But to me, it looks like the guy, you know, ripped off his little schmagoigan there. And that's not okay at all. Ugh. Let's open up the rest of these doors and see if there's not anything interesting in any of these. Probably not. Nope. Okay. Still nothing in here. Hmm, nothing. Alright, well, let's move on into this room, since it's the only other room to go in. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. 
Whoa. There's people everywhere in here, damn it. God, that guy was loading up for it. Nah, you're not even worth it. Get the fuck out of here. I wonder if there's any guns hiding in here like there usually are. Or not usually, I guess, but like that one time when we found a gun that was full. Probably not, I'm guessing, since the exit to this level, I believe, is probably right there. Huh? Huh? What? There's somebody over here. Oh! Hello! Yep. You're right there. God, and he's got the concrete. There ain't no way in hell that a 2x4 with... A 2x4 with, uh, with bolts would be able to block a rebar with concrete. But that is the kind of game that we live in today. Where things like that can be real. Yes, sir. And the cops are outside? Great. I think I got something, Thomas. The newspaper clippings you found in the room at the Metro Station. Each of the articles talks about a serial killer. A serial killer that was on your case list. Nine names were mentioned. Of those, seven of the nine were crossed out in each of the clippings by a black felt tip marker. The only names that weren't crossed out were the matchmaker and the torturer. Of the names that were crossed out, all those cases have gone cold. And now you can cross off the matchmaker. Wait, are you implying that there's someone stalking serial killers? So what, he goes around killing killers, and then he marks off their name in his little personal diary? It sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? It does, but it adds up. It almost makes sense. Hold on. Uh-oh. Ah, shit. Rosa, I have to call you back. And Rosa, I need to pick up this. And now we have to escape from the department store, because they're going to break the place down, and we're going to get our asses kicked. Come on! Yeah! Dog. Oh god. He got it bad. Come on, sprint bar. Go up, you piece of shit. Oh. Get the fuck out of the way. I don't have time for this shit. Open the door to complete the chapter. No. Ah. Oh. Oh. We did it. That was quite the way to end a chapter. That was pretty. That was pretty sick. And we found all three metal pieces. Even though that doesn't matter because we didn't find all of the birds. And we killed over half the people by melee combat. That's a little bit rare since I seems like I've done other ones more heavily with guns. But yeah, whatever. Time to move on to the next chapter. Internal report number nine ninety one. It has been discovered that humans are being affected in the same way birds are, providing an explanation for the unusual rise in severe brain disorders reported by local hospitals. Those inherently predisposed to violent tendencies slip rapidly towards a host of mental psychoses and begin to exhibit signs of hallucinations, homicidal behavior, and paranoia. Which exactly explains why all these people are acting like fucking crazy asses. Yeah. You were going to call me back. Sorry. So, the fingerprint in the metro station and the boot print are not the matchmakers, but this other guy. So, is he the torturer? Doubtful. It's not the torturer's MO. Think about it. The final murder in each of those cases on your list ended with a killing similar to the previous ones. This guy goes around and kills the killers in the same way that they're killing the innocent. He's like an uber killer. A serial killer X, a perp not on your original case list. So, this serial killer X kills serial killers. He takes them down using their own methods. If the torturer is still at large, what's his MO? Pretty sick stuff. He likes to abduct people, torture them for fun, then let them loose and hunt them down. His goal is to drive them to suicide so he doesn't actually deliver the final blow. What is this city coming to? All right, so I've got to find the torturer and save his ass so the new killer doesn't kill him? Life of an agent. Yeah, well, I'm no longer an agent, apparently. Sorry. Look, I can't get you the Bureau dossier on the torturer now, as you can imagine. But we can find out some public information. And 
I have something else you need to say. Okay. Well, it's too dangerous for me to come to the Bureau. Can you meet me at the City Library? You know there's been a fire there. The whole thing's shut down for repairs. Exactly. There's damage, but there's got to be a terminal or two still working. And no one will know. Uh, can you meet me there in, uh, 15 minutes? I'll be there. Alright, time to meet Rose at the City Library. And we have to find a way to save someone else's ass that's trying to kill our ass. This is all wrong. A locker door? Sweet! This is not a safe place to be. Considering that there is a helicopter looking for us nearby, and there's two bird carcasses! Yeah! And a third one back there! Sweet! Uh oh Oh! Oh no, you don't! None of it! Okay. Let's go searching for some more stuff. Ooh, hey! God! God, did I just, like, break his body with that? That was rather convincing. Ooh, I see ya. You're not hiding from me. <laughs> I think I might have a better weapon to block with than you. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest, you have a piece of bar and I have a, a locker door. You pick which one's better. The better question is, where am I actually? I mean, I ran out of the department store, and now I don't really know where I am anymore. Go, 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 go! I do need to check what's in all these things. Nothing really important in there. But there is a metal piece right there. Unlock the achievement! You unlock the Silver Detective Badge achievement. I don't really know what that means, but I still did it. Okay, everything's clear, so we can go in here now. Oh, boy. God, apparently it's cool to just fucking go running gung-ho in here. Give it to me. Give it to me. One bullet left. And an... Oh, wow. We've gone through three rooms in this place, and we already have four of these. Impressive. There's only one bullet left in this, but I'm going to put it to great, great usage. Hmm. We're getting reports of violent outbreaks near your current location. Damn, and that means the cops. You need to get the hell out of there. I know, Rosa. Thanks for making it very apparent that that's what I need to do. Uh, go, 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 go. There's another... Sweet. Question is, where do I go now? I guess I'm going right there. Down, down, down. Holy shit, I've already gotten five birds. This is awesome. And two metal pieces. This may be the first level in this entire game in which I'm actually going to be able to do this. Those... Huh. Well, looks like at one point or another I'll be over there. Because I can see a med kit station. Here they come. Wow. This is some violent shit. Uh-oh. God, these guys are awful shots. Go, 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 go. Make sure you look for birds on the way. Because that's more important. I'm not gonna jump down yet if I can go in here. Which I cannot. Yeah. Get out of the way. No, I will take your gun. Aw. Oh. Hey, there it is. Yes, there's the last bird. We have succeeded. At least in getting all... Wow. That's real... Hey! Alright! We have done it all! We've done the whole schmagag. And now we have the weapons. Are you serious? Uh oh. Um, I'll disperse immediately when I'm ready to disperse. Control cards are on the enemy use force. Well, good for you. I just need to find a place to go. 
Where do I go? I don't know where to go. Shit. Oh, I'm dead. Fuck. I didn't have a chance to get that tase off. Damn. Alright, well we gotta do that again. At least we're at a checkpoint. Wow. That was an intense, intense area. Okay, so I know that dead bird is right there. And that's the last one of those. And then if we go over here, there's that right there. Okay. Now I can effectively take all these guys on, or just kind of let them kill themselves. So I don't have to waste bullets. <laughs> Shit. That's bad, 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 bad. Give me one of those. Good for you guys. Bum fights! God! It's insane in here! Ooh, two birds with one stone, even better. Yes. Can I open this door yet? No, I can't. Ooh! People and their damn homicidal behaviors. Yeah, dude, you can't... You just can't do it. Too good for you. I was too damn smart. Uh-oh. Gonna break it open. Oh, go, 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 no, 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 no. Not about to have a find refuge by jumping in the dumpster after we use a health kit. Jumping in the dumpster. Oh. The fuck off. Get the fuck off of this thing. There we go. Oh, I guess we're gonna keep moving then. Oh. oh my god. This is getting intense. Wow. Impeccable time. What the hell was that? Thomas, I'm at the library. Where are you? Rosa, be quiet. Oh boy. Don't open the door. Don't you dare! Hey, Smithy! Johnson! Wait up! Rosa, are you still there? Very few people can tell me to shut up and get away with it. Sorry, I'll be there in a couple minutes. Hurry, I have a feeling I'm not alone here. Wow, that was the shortest level ever. But, we did get everything in it. So I guess we can move on. Here we go! Internal report number 403. Confident confidential statistics show a significant increase in crime rates involving law enforcement officials. Petty crime amongst officers is up 64% while domestic violence is up 114%. Although the full report has not yet been delivered, the increase appears to be linked with officers fighting in areas dealing with the city with the city's recent crime wave. Yikes. hell are those? Oh, gross! They're cannibalizing somebody. Alright. So now we have to find Rosa. Unfortunately, we do not have the time to do that at the moment. It's like the first time we've had refuge for a few minutes here, so... When we come back on the next episode of Let's Play Condemned Criminal Origins, we are going to search the library for our comrade and then uh, we'll go from there so this is your host AMF 1534 saying thank you for watching and I'll see you next time have a good one bye <laughs>